Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinet's Cats and Coffee. In today's video, I am going to give you guys a few tips on improving and checking your air support on clarinet. Before we do that, I want to say thank you to all of my patrons for supporting my channel. If you are interested in becoming a patron, please click on the link below and, and check out all the perks that I offer to patrons. It has been a pleasure over the past couple of years getting to know all of you guys, and I appreciate everything that you have contributed to making this channel possible. All right, so for these particular tips, um, you guys are going to need a few things. One, you're gonna need a little piece of tissue or a little square of toilet paper. Two, you're gonna need a crumpled tiny ball of paper. Three, you will need a straw. Four, you will need your swab. Five, you will need a chair. Also, you may need a friend to help you out with some of these. All right. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing, you wanna make sure that you are using enough air when you play. And if you are not sure if you are using enough air, you can take a little tissue and hold it over your tone holes while you play and it should wiggle a little bit in the wind. <laughs> For this one, you need to wad up a ball of paper and you're gonna test two things. One, you're gonna test how fast you can blow a lot of air through a very tiny aperture. And so you're gonna put the ball on your table or your stand, take a deep breath and then to see how far you can blow that ball. Don't puff your cheeks out. I try to use my clarinet embouchure, you know, for practice. The other thing you can do to uh, modify this little exercise is to see how good your tongue position is. So if you play with high tongue position, as we all know, you'll get a cleaner, clearer sound projected and very pure and centered, okay? And so high tongue position, when you remove your embouchure, sounds like fast wind. <laughs> Right? So if you do that, ooh, I'm a little dizzy now with all this fast air and stuff. So you wipe up your ball, you stick it right on the stand and you practice, it will still require you to use your air support system to get that ball flying across the room. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you as well. Okay, for this one, you actually have to wad up your swab, stuff it in your bell as far as you can, leaving just the string dangling. And then you go to play a low E. And what I tell my students is, I want you to play as if as if you're, you're trying to blow the swab out. You won't be successful unless you did a bad job of stuffing the swab in. But you know, you try to use enough air to get the swab out and you should feel a little bit of a burn in your core while you're trying to blow out that swab. And then you have your buddy just whoosh, pull the swab out and you should have a nice, big, fat, full, resonant low E. And then I coach students on, you know, once you're getting that sound to just keep the air going and go all the way up as high as they can go. And they're always, always surprised by just how big and beautiful their sound is with using that much air. All right, this 
this is one that you can do without a friend and without anything fancy or extra. You just sit down in your chair and you just stick your legs up in the air. So I'll show you. So you just play while trying to keep your legs balanced up. The next thing you can do to just get your core to kind of engage a little bit more is to sit on the front edge of your chair and make sure you're playing with good posture and everything and do like half a sit up. You lean back, do half a sit up. Don't slump over and just like have your back touching the chair and stuff. You wanna like actually like boop, just kind of like that. <sighs> And then the other thing you could do is actually practice while you're laying down to help open up the upper part of your chest and your throat and relax that part. And again, it will force you to do better breathing from lower in your body. Check it out. Just be careful not to breathe in or swallow your, the spit that's rolling back at you. So clean your clarinet out before you do this. The last one is to play upside down. So you could either do something from memory or you could have a friend hold your music up for you upside down while you play through a passage. So um, I guess I have to demonstrate this. So here we go. <laughs> So be careful doing that one. Uh, you can get a little bit dizzy with your head and trying to blow a bunch of air whenever you're like upside down. So be careful, just breathe deeply and relax. You should feel everything just kind of go forward in your mouth and you shouldn't feel any kind of pushing or anything in your throat or chest. So I really like that last, last one whenever I'm feeling just kind of tense up here and like I'm squeezing and squishing things up here. So. Um, yeah, give these a try if you're able to and let me know what you think. If you guys have any other little tricks or whatever that you want to add, please leave them in the comments below. But I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend, a good week next week, and as always, happy practicing.